So um, this right here is says compute f prime of three. F prime stands for derivative. Yeah. Now yesterday oh. we um, kind of developed oh. what a derivative is by writing it as a limit. Okay, now I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is the long way to do it, and there is a shortcut, and no, I will not show you the shortcut yet. Um, it, is, it is important for you guys to know the limit way, because there might be a proof or something in the future that like, will require you to know this way. It's like the quadratic. Okay, so, um, F prime of A, now A is a number that you're plugging in, okay, when, the, when there's an A here, like see it says X equals A. So we could have just put f of x right here and changed this a to an x. It doesn't matter, and that a to an x. It doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> a is where the derivative is being taken at. See right here? It's being taken at 3. So in this case, the a would be 3. Um, this is essentially the difference quotient, which is what we were just looking at. You guys know that this is um, the formula to find the slope, which is what a derivative is. It's going to be the slope of the tangent line. Um, and this, so this is the, the rise right here, and this is the run. Down here, it's the same exact thing, except it looks a little more simple. And the reason why I think it looks a little more simple is because it doesn't have the a plus h inside of it. You can use either way. Either one works. This one is probably more enjoyable because you get to cross out more things. I mean, you cross out things here too, but honestly, this is probably the more common one used than this one. All right, so... Um, let's start out with using this one, though, because if I was brand new at this, this one would make more sense to me. All right, so this says, uh, if you're trying to, say, take f prime of a, in our case it's f prime of 3, you've got to plug in the function right there, plug in the other function, but with the 3 inside of it, and on the bottom you're going to go x minus 3. And right here it's x as x approaches a. So let's go back to this and set it up. Uh, we'll get to the B here in a second. We're going to do, um, well, it's supposed to say A, but it doesn't. So here we go. We're going to find F prime of 3. And to do that, we're going to find the limit as X approaches 3. Right? It was as X approaches A. And to find the limit, you guys remember uh, how we were putting the making the points go closer and closer together. Okay, that's that's essentially what we're doing here. That's why it says the limit. On the top, you're going to have f of x, and then you're going to subtract from that f of three. On the bottom, you're going to say x minus three. Now we just have to plug and check. Okay. Um, now because this is in function notation, we know what's going to go there. We're going to use the function, which is right here to plug in x, which we don't really need to plug in, we just need to copy that, and then we're going to plug in 3 to it. What we're going to get next, uh, now we, we have to write the limit stuff, we have to make sure that we keep the limit, but as you guys start working faster and faster, you might forget the limit part until the end, that's okay. Uh, and then we're going to have x squared minus 8x, and then we're going to subtract from that f of 3, and so we're going to have to plug in 3 here, so we're going to have 3 squared minus 8 times 3. So I plugged in the 3, and we're going to divide this all by x minus 3. <coughs> you guys ready? Okay, so we distribute this negative right there and there. Okay, this is going to be 24, and this is going to be 9. All right, let me clean this up here. All right, am I running out of space yet? Yeah, I'm almost running out of space. I'm not going to write the limit part now. Okay, so we have x squared uh, minus 8x, and then we have uh, 9 plus 24. Oh, that's negative 9, right? Negative 9 plus 24, which is uh, positive 15. And then on the bottom, we have x minus 3. Okay, now, uh, if we're taking the limits of this right here, as x approaches 3, it doesn't work because we're going to get 0 on the denominator. So this is in indeterminate form. So do you guys remember what to do if it's in indeterminate form? Factor. Yeah, we see if we can factor and simplify Dave, stuff. That, was really that would be great. So on the bottom we have x minus 3. On the top I'm hoping for an x minus 3. X if I factor this, which it is factorable, we have x minus 3 and x minus 5. So the x plus or x minus 3s cancel out, and so this is what I'm left with now. The limit as x approaches 3 of x 
minus 5. This is f prime of 3. Remember the very beginning? That's what we started with. Okay, so now let's find the limit right here. What do we get? Negative 2. Yeah, we plug the 3 in right there. We subtract the 5. We get negative 2. All right? That is the slope at 3. Now, that was using uh, this way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again, but with using H. I like using the H better. You guys tell me what you think after I finish it. Okay. Now, we're not doing this one quite yet, so I'm going to scribble that out. Oh, we're going to do it. Um, you just have to... We're going to do this other problem again. So what we're going to do is we're going to find F prime of 3 again. Okay. But first, we're going to find uh, just what F prime is. What is F prime? Okay. Yeah, it's the limit as h approaches 0, so we're using the other one, and we're putting h in the bottom. On the top, remember, this is like the, dif the difference quotient. We're going to have f of x plus h minus f of x. Is it a or is it f? No, in this case, it's, it's h. Um, I think uh, the other problem, it used a instead of x, but um, that doesn't matter. The concept is still the same. No. Concept is still the same. So, I like this one better, but you guys be the judge here. So, let's go ahead and plug in our function stuff right here. So, we have um, the limit as h approaches 0, and we're going to take the x plus h and plug that into the f function. So, we're going to have, uh, what's the f function? It's x squared, so we have x plus h, and we're going to square that dude, minus 8 times x plus h. Then we have a minus, and we're going to subtract the function now. So now I'm going to plug in x squared minus 8x. Remember, this is the original function. This is where I'm getting all this stuff right here from. So see, this is the x squared minus 8x right here, x squared minus 8x. But for the first one, I had to plug in x plus h. The second one, I don't plug in anything. I just write it out again. Okay. Well, I'm plugging in x pretty much. And then you're going to divide this by h. All right, let's get down with it. Um, we got to do the numerator stuff first, and then we'll divide by h. So to do the numerator stuff, let's um, first simplify this. We'll do the, the power right there, which is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 8x minus 8h. So I distributed the, the 8 right there. And then um, I'm going to have to distribute this negative, so we're going to have negative x squared minus 8x. Now, this is actually... Plus. Oh, thank you. It's plus. Good looking out. So plus 8x. Actually kind of nice, um, because now we're going to get to cancel stuff out. So um, where are we canceling stuff out? That x squared is gone. Peace out, x squared. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then we're going to cross out the negative 8x and the positive 8x, because those are opposites. And then we have these guys left, okay, just uh, those three terms. So we've got to divide each of those by h and see what we get. Let me see. Oh, I need more space here. No, i got more space. So we're going to find the limit as h approaches 0, because this is going to be f prime of x, of, let's see, what is uh, 2xh divided by h? 2x. That's 2x. What is um, x, h squared divided by h? h. And then the last one, which is negative 8 to h divided by h, which is? Minus 8. Mi minus 8. Okay, now, go back to what you understand with limits. What are you supposed to do with this now? You see the, as h approaches 0? So what happens to the h? It just disappears. It just goes away because it goes to zero. All right, so now f prime of x equals 2x minus 8. Now, this is my favorite thing in the world right now. Yeah. Because that right there is, I mean, it says f prime. That's the derivative of the function. That is, um, let's see, we can call it the derivative function. I like to call it the slope function. Because it will give you the slope at any point. Uh, so it's derivative function, slope function, or you can say rate of change function, which is the same as slope, right? Rate of change function. 
Okay. Yeah, so now, after you find the function, if you wanted to find f prime of 3, you guys just have to take that 3 and plug it in. So 2 times 3 is 6, six minus 8 is negative two. Negative 2. So it gives us the same result. Wait, wait, yeah. 